Who would have ever thought a 67-year-old woman would be at the top? Yes, I'm 67. <laughs> would be literally at the top of her game right now. When I was growing up, I didn't see women like me on TV. Um, I host a primetime show on a network station. Um, and most important of all, I have the opportunity to fulfill a purpose in my life, and that's why I'm here today. Uh, all this is possible because of 10 of the hardest but most transformative years of my life. Okay, as I told you, I'm going to tell you a little story. I feel a little sheepish always telling this. I don't tell it often, frankly. I, this is a story that really is for you today here. Um, but I have found that, as they say, my mess is my message and without this story, none of what I have become would be possible. Um, so, 10 years ago, actually it's 11 years ago now, it was 11 years ago in May, but so um, 11 years ago, my mom, I grew up, as you saw, in a little town in Illinois, and 11 years ago, my parents had just moved to Dallas from the little town in Illinois where I grew up, Anna, Illinois. And uh, they moved here because I lived here, my brother lived here, we had kids, so naturally they wanted to be here with their children and their grandchildren. And <clears throat> so they woke up the first morning they were here in Dallas, Texas. They woke up May the 5th, 2012, to pictures of me all over every television station Every newspaper, a lot of people have asked me, you know, after that, a lot of people were like, were, were, are, were you addicted? Are you addicted to alcohol? I was addicted, but not to alcohol. I was addicted to finding my value outside myself. Specifically, I was addicted to the attention of men to find my own worth, to find my own value. Because looking back on it now, it's like that was another person living in that body. I was, I was meeting, I was married, I was meeting a guy for a drink who wasn't my husband. I was addicted, it was an exhilaration to me to feel that attention of a man. And I found I'm not the only woman who has dealt with this. But I was addicted to attention because I didn't have what I needed inside of myself. Um, I hurt myself, I hurt my son, I hurt my husband, I hurt everybody involved in my life. But I am so grateful that that happened to me. I mean, I am, I am so grateful that that happened, not only because of the drinking and driving aspect of it, but because without that incident, I would not have started a very difficult 10-year journey to figure out what in the world is going on with me? Why did I do that? And I learned all about my own lack of self-love. It set me on a mission to become what I hope now is a transformative women, woman and to inspire other women who may have faced their own difficulties with self-love in their lives to know that they, even at 60, even at 50, whatever, can still grow that self-love that's needed.